Today we're going to be having a look at three separate fossil hunting episodes. We've got three full days of fossil hunting with both me and Shay and looking at some of our favourite fossils from our collection. Without further ado, let's get straight into the first episode. I hope you enjoy it. Here's a look at what's coming up in today's video. We find lots of ammonites in a huge slab and dig out some rare examples. At the end of the video, we also have a very special marine reptile fossil and Shay is going to be telling us all about that one. But first of all, here's our fossil hunt. I'll show you a few clips of the cliff just behind me and then I'll get straight into showing you the pretty unusual big slab of shale that I found. Some pretty unique ammonite fossils on it. Behind me, just out of shot, I've come across a huge, pretty fresh slab of shale which has come down. And on the surface, I can see a number of rare ammonites. I'm gonna show you the slab in just a moment. Quite a few of the ammonites look like they might be squashed and not fully preserved. But there's a couple which I think are probably 3D and it looks like there's quite a long lens of ammonites running beneath the shale. In terms of the lens of ammonites, most of them will probably be squashed flat. But if we're lucky, there'll be a few more 3D specimens. I'll show you the slab now and then we'll start chipping a few of them out, revealing a few of them and fingers crossed, we get some complete specimens out of this. Here is a look at the enormous slab. Might be hard to tell on video just how big it is, but trust me, it's absolutely huge. Not sure how long it's been down for, but I'll show you a bit closer up. First of all, I'll just give you a few seconds to have a look round, quickly scan across the block and see if you can see where the obvious ammonites are that are already showing. We've got one, I think, inside this rock, and there's two others right there. There's also a trickier one to spot right at the top corner. And I think there's another one just out of shot, but we'll have a little closer look at them all now. So let's get closer and have a better look. You can see the edge of one of the ammonites, just here really lovely colour, little compressed one. There's also an ammonite inside this stone. You can see where another one's been just underneath. Another little piece of an ammonite. A little bellumite fossil. There's also another ammonite up here. I think there might be some inside this rock, but we'll soon see. I think we'll try and expose this one first. It's pretty likely it's going to be completely compressed like that. If that's the case, we'll just expose it and leave it there for other people to see. It's reeled a nice little bit already. I think it might be completely compressed, unfortunately. Okay, so it's not fully preserved. It was literally just that little outer whirl. Okay, let's have a look at this one. I think this one will come out pretty easily. It looks like it's in a solid rock as well. Okay, perhaps if I reveal this little piece first. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's pretty exciting.
gosh. Just another pretty squashed one. Imagine how nice that would have been to be perfect. The first of the last two is this one. Let's get this one out. Now we already know there's been one sat there. It's just whether or not there's another one further in. Oh, brilliant. Look at that. <laughs> so it looks like there's pretty much a perfect ammonite inside that. See part of it there, part of it round here. That's pretty nice. Okay, we'll wash that off in just a moment. The last one we're going to crack open, well, try and reveal. The last one we're going to try and reveal is up here. Not too far. I think it's, this one's completely loose now. Okay, so, the moment of truth. Now this is a rare, if it's complete, it's a rare specimen. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. That's unbelievable. There's a couple of specimens already. A few of them were just completely compressed and might as well leave them there for someone else to see. But let's have a look now at some of the other specimens and see if we get any more complete ones and hopefully a bigger specimen. Gosh, what a shame they're not all perfect. This one's pretty cool. There's one there and one on top. That one might be complete. One that had managed to roll down on the floor that we missed was this complete one. With a complete Cluroceros. Here's our haul of fossils. Quite a few. Some of them, such as this one, it's hard to know if it's actually going to be complete or just a little outer world preserved. Some of the others, like this bigger one, this one here, this one here. I'm pretty confident those are all going to be complete. So we've got a few almost certain complete ones and several possibly complete specimens. All in all, I think that's gone really well and we've got a lot of specimens like i say a few of them might be complete a few of them might not be let's give them a quick wash off and see what they look like might give us a better idea of if they are going to be complete even if they're not these are rare specimens and to come across this many in one slab is really unusual and something that's never happened before so i'm really pleased with the finds regardless there's the first specimen in the water now let's put the rest in or most of the rest there's a couple of them are as well That one's pretty exciting. It's got to be complete inside there, surely. Let's have a look at some of the smaller ones. Look at that. The brown, browny red shell on these ammonites is really unusual and pretty unique to them. Of course, there's a lot of preparation work involved in all of these specimens. I think there's a decent chance there's actually a bigger one hidden away inside this rock. We'll only find out when we prepare it though. Here's where most of our specimens came from today. 
As I said at the very beginning of the video, I thought there might have been a little lens of ammonites, but I didn't expect there to be that many. How cool is that? These are all the imprints. The specimens which were partial that came out, like I say, I'll put them on a rock and someone can come along and find them. It would only have been a matter of weeks before this layer of shale naturally cracked and fell off. So it's quite good that we've saved the complete ones and the incomplete and captured it all on video. Pretty special find, something like this. So there we have it turned out to be more exciting than I thought it was going to be. Really, really exciting to find something like that and genuinely very pleased with it. I thought we'd now have a quick look across the shingle because out of the corner of my eye I could spot a few little fossils. See if you can spot them as well. Just for good measure, I've come across another little ammonite piece. Not as rare as the ones we found just there, but it is still pretty nice. I'll give you a few moments to spot where this one is. So there are two fossils actually. There's one over there. The other one I initially spotted is right there, but just as I was stood looking, I spotted the second one. So here's the first. It's really nice and piratized. Look at that. The other one is just completely flattened on the surface of the rock. Leave these here for someone else to come along and find. That's the main part of the fossil hunt itself. And now I'm going to go on my way home and show you the fossil I mentioned back at the start of the video. This is another one of our favorite marine reptile finds. So we've still got another incredible fossil to come. I hope you like it. I think just before we go, just because of the really big nodule we found where we think it might be reserved, but equally it might not be, I'm going to tap it open with my hammer and chisel, as careful as I can, and we'll find out right now if it is a complete specimen. It'd be a shame to take it home and prepare through all of that matrix, only to find out it was incomplete. So let's just find out now if it is or not. Right. Here we go. I've just managed to crack the rock all the way around it. Oh, wow! Look at that!
There is a bit that wasn't fully preserved right there. That's open nicely. We were right, it was fully preserved. Well, that ammonite certainly opened a lot better than I thought it was going to. I've never really split open many examples of that type of ammonite so pretty exciting when it did open really nicely I've also got a few others to prepare at home now we're going to head back and have a look at one of the fossils one of our favorite marine reptile fossils and i've got share to show you and explain about this specimen the fossil we're going to be showing is a huge ichthyosaur paddle this is one we found about a year ago and my dad has fully prepared it i did have a few clips of this paddle on a video quite a while ago where we showed the full preparation process of the paddle Right, I think it's time to have a look at it. As we promised earlier in the video, we're going to be showing you our amazing paddle that we found just over a year ago. I'm really excited to show you it because I think it's one of the best paddles that we've got. This is the paddle. is incredible. Me and Aaron found this while we were out on the beach. Aaron spotted it and shouted me over and to my disbelief this is what he found. When we found it it was fully articulated. There were plenty of pieces that we had to glue back together. I think my dad's done an amazing job of preparing this fossil. It's pretty incredible to think that I'm holding a paddle from a huge ichthyosaur. Today we're going fossil hunting, me, my dad and my brother. Hopefully we'll get a few nice finds and at the end of the video we have a stunning set of ichthyosaur jaws to have a look at as well. So it should be a pretty good video. Hope you enjoy it. It was incredibly windy at this location, as you can probably tell. When it's windy, it's always very important to stay well away from the cliffs. You should always stay away from the cliffs in any case, but especially when it's windy, little pieces of shale that break off, rather than falling straight to the foot of the cliff, it could be blown quite far out and even hit you from a distance away from the cliff. So always stay as far away as you can. There was quite a few nice little fossils around here, on top of the slabs of shale. This one in particular was quite obvious and easily seen.
here you can see where there's been pretty large cliff fall just goes to show how often the cliff is falling this fall looks relatively fresh probably only happened a few weeks or months prior to us coming down and another cliff fall is always around the corner here me and Cher came across a pretty large nodule and just at the edge of it there was a really worn ammonite most likely the fossil inside was going to be crushed and not fully preserved that's just the way it is with these types of nodules but we thought we would try and open it up in any case just on the off chance This nodule was filled with fractures and had been sat around on the beach for quite a few years, most likely. The nodule fell apart pretty easily, just with using a few taps of the hammer with our chisel. And the contents of the rock were revealed. Once we got inside of the rock, it was a partial ammonite specimen, but one that was pretty poorly preserved and not worth taking or repairing on this occasion. Here I came across a piece of wood which had been getting eroded for quite some time and it very easily just came loose when I applied a little bit of pressure to it. That's the case with the majority of fossils that are exposed for quite a while. Once the tide gets to them they often break up pretty quickly and are lost to the sea. If you find anything of particular interest it's important to take it home and look after it and get it preserved. If it's anything of particular interest, then reporting it to a museum would probably be the best idea. Here's another piece of wood that we noticed. Uh, this one is quite interesting in the sense that it's got pretty random fossil preserved at the very end of it. It's quite difficult to tell what it is at first, but it's actually a fossilised coprolite, or fossil faeces, preserved at the end of this piece of wood. It's pretty unusual, and I don't think I've seen that before. You can 
see it just there. He is part of a crinoid or crinoid fossil. It's a pretty nice example and I will explain a little bit more about these in a future video. Now we're going to have a look at the ichthyosaur jaw. This is by far one of our favourite. It was one that we found about three years ago. Me and my dad found it together whilst out on a fossil hunt. And the same day he found a really large nautilus fossil. We haven't prepared the nautilus fossil yet. When we do, we'll be sure to show that. This jaw is by far one of our favourites because of the quality of the bone and mainly because of the teeth preserved inside the jaw. The teeth are almost all in place, however there are a few teeth below the lower jaw which have been pushed out whilst it's been fossilised. We're also lucky enough to have another piece that attaches onto the end of this jaw to make it a little bit longer. So certainly in a future video, I will show the fossil with that piece attached as well. The overall fossil isn't quite finished yet. It needs a little bit more preparation, but even as it is now, it's really something quite incredible to look at and even more incredible to hold it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If there's any other videos you would like, just let us know in the comments. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Billy and Shea are going fossil hunting today. And when we get back, we've got an absolutely brilliant nodule which I found yesterday with a big ammonite hanging around the outside of it. So when we get back, we're going to open that up. Also show one of our favourite fossils at home as well. Hopefully we find some on the beach, but if not, we've got some exciting little fossils for later on. Just gonna start having a little look at the pebbles that the sea has just most recently washed. See if there's anything about. Thought that could have contained something, but doesn't look like it would, unfortunately. Looks a bit like something. I'm just trying to work out what it is. Might just be a little squash nodule in the shape of something.
little bit of calcite on top of this rock. Pretty nice bellum night fossil there. So that'll just be a nice one to leave there. Oh, what the heck? Must leave that alone. Okay, I can see a pretty good ammonite just sat here. I'll pause the video, see if you can spot it as well. All right, so there is actually two. There's one here. Just got like a couple of partial ammonites inside. And then, oh, there's three. There's another one right there. This looks like it'll split open beautifully. And there's also another one here, which again looks like it's got a really good chance of opening pretty well. So later on, is that a fourth? Oh, yep, <laughs> fourth one there. So, so later on when I meet up with Shea, we'll split these open with a hammer and chisel. Looks like they should all open very nicely. Quite a lot of mud here has begun to slip down. There's loads more to come as well. Some sliding down just there, just a little trickle of it, but quite often is with like much bigger, much bigger amounts that come down. Got another lovely ammonite, this time in a much bigger bulky nodule. And again, it does look like it'll like open up and split very nicely. So <laughs> touch wood that these all do now that I've said it, but we'll find out very shortly. So Shea's also looking further up the beach as well. And if he comes across anything, he'll record it as well. Wouldn't mind finding some nice bits of bone on one of my videos. I don't tend to find it when I'm filming. It's always sod's law. Usually find it when I'm just out by myself without the camera. But at the end of the video, we do have some nice bits to come. Big partial phylloceros. These ammonites did grow, well, there's quite a few examples at least of like one or two feet across. Usually not 3D though, they usually just crush like this. Pretty nice and piratized though. had a bellum night earlier in the video, but this is quite a bit bigger. A little bit of a different colour as well. It's got a nice green tinge to it. Probably from being eroded.
is something like I was looking for before a massive preserved ammonite We're going to split the ammonites open now that we found and also Shay found a really nice ammonite with a big elegant hisserus around the side of the nodule which we're also going to break open now. It's very similar to the nodule we're going to break when we get home so we'll get to see two open today. Okay, any safety goggles on ready? I've got mine on as well. So we'll start off with the ammonites I found earlier in the video. Next one. Okay, that's alright. Just needs to be cleaned up a bit at home. And the nicest one. So this has got a big, lovely, elegant distress showing around the outside. This is probably our best find of the day. Here's the big nodule which we're going to be breaking open. As you can see, there's a what looks to be a potentially stunning big ammonite hanging out of the side of it. So we're going to give it a little tap around here. Hopefully it <laughs> opens up to reveal this stunning ammonite. The ammonite opened up really nicely, but didn't open up as easily as we would have liked it to. We're now going to show a little ichthyosaur paddle, which Shay found. I've got it over here. We absolutely love this paddle. Shay initially found it when he was looking for ammonites. We found a little piece of shale with a couple of bones around the edge and then we prepped down and were genuinely incredibly surprised when it actually had a complete paddle in it. No ammonites with it either, just a little ichthyosaur paddle. Very, very pleased with this. One of his best finds and one of our favorite fossils as well. 
Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. That's the end of our three fossil hunting episodes. We found a really large variety of fossils down on the beach and also showed you some of our favourite fossils from our collection. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.